Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I think, well, just my personal opinion, why China is really important to cryptocurrencies. Uh, so there, you know, there's this article where, you know, uh, China is banning mining of cryptocurrency. This is good for the, for the miners in North America and Europe and everywhere around the world that are still mining Bitcoin. But in China, you know, it's, it shows that how serious the federal government in our uh, I don't know what you could call you could call the the government in China is something you know the supreme government of China or something like that anyways it just shows you how serious the government of China is on crypto and they don't want crypto in the country and it's you know it made Jim Cramer sell off it's bring it's creating a lot of FUD in the market but I also think that it's very, very important that China is involved in order for cryptos to go super high to like a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. Why? Because China is a really big economy. China is the world's second largest economy behind the United States. Uh, so China has a lot of money, and without China, that's like cutting the cutting a huge supply of money out of the crypto markets because if China I mean rich people in China are gonna find a way to trade cryptos regardless of what the government says you know the government says no trading cryptos they're gonna find a way rich people are gonna find a way but regular people they're gonna have a harder time trying to trade cryptos and you know that is a huge amount of money still regardless and even that institutions they have to i don't actually don't know they have to but they need to follow some kind of regulation like they can't just go out and do whatever they want they have to follow whatever the government allows them to do so the if institutions are not allowed to you know trade cryptos that's a huge amount of money you know the regular people not allowed to trade cryptos huge amount of money institutions billionaires are the only ones that probably find a way to trade cryptos regardless of what the chinese government says they're probably just they fly out of the country buy some crypto and you know go back into the country that's probably what they're doing right i don't know at the end of the day but or they have some somebody else trade cryptos for them they send money to them you know that's also a possibility or maybe billionaires don't care because they're so rich they don't like us ah, crypto whatever it is what it is but uh china is a big big economy and without them involved with trading with cryptos it's not a good sign for cryptos but the crypto bulls they're gonna say you know China, we don't need China. China is no nobody. We're, we're, we can push crypto to $200,000 without China. Sure, if you want to believe that, go ahead. I mean, right now, crypto is looking green. And I think crypto is going to be extremely volatile, up and down, up and down, up and down consistently. But, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, I missed out the boat. I, I should have bought into some cryptos when it was super red. Like super red. Like when Bitcoin crashed all the way down to like t below 30k. I should have went and loaded up on Dogecoin or Shiba or whatever. Because look at that. It's gone up so much. I would have, uh, if I bought some Shiba at like 18 cents, 19 cents, I would have uh, at least 40, 40 or 50% return on my investment right now. But I didn't, and I'm kind of kicking myself, and now I have to wait until it crashes again. If it crashes, I don't know, like, I don't know what the market is going to do. I don't know if the market is going to push it down, push it up. I don't know, right? From a charting perspective, um, it looks like crypto is, um, you know, bearish, you know, uh, this feels like a dead cat bounce, but you know, it could just go all the way up again and make new all time highs. Who knows at the end of the day, what cryptos are, go are going to do, but, uh, you know, yeah, 
Anyways, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.